as you'd expect, the Cavaliers starting line of greeted by enormous enthusiasm. While for LeBron James, it is just the start of what figures to be two and a half hours straight of going and heckling. All right, Steve, the Cavaliers come in with a record of seven and ten. Here's LeBron to the scores table. The question is, would he go through the usual pregame routine involving the slapping of the powder over at the table? It's fans here in Cleveland, as you can Appreciate it. Well, I really love the looseness of LeBron James. I, with so much pressure and so much hype coming into this game, you see him skipping, lobbing, going in for early dunks. A lot of players like to conserve energy during the warm-up. I've seen LeBron James exert a lot of energy during the warm-up. Carlos Arroyo for LeBron James. Brought in here at the start by Joey Graham. James played by Parker. LeBron with the jumper. That's a great sign for LeBron. I didn't expect him to make shots early. He's got to be nervous out here. If he's going to make shots tonight, Cleveland's in trouble. Picks it for Graham. Wide open. Here's the outlet. James finding way. Second mistake that Cleveland has made. The first was the turnover by Williams in the half court. Second was right there, no defensive balance. We requested an interview with LeBron James for earlier today, but he respectfully declined with everything that's going on. Now, we've had some memorable homecomings before, but perhaps LeBron is enduring a night like no other athlete has ever endured. I walked in with him shortly after 5.30 this evening, and he said he's totally aware of all the hostility directed at him, but it's time to put his head down and go to work. Asked for what he would have the perfect ending be. He said a Miami win, and the Cavs fans leave with appreciation for the great seven years they had together. James in a battle with Graham, gives it up. Here's Wade to the bucket. Yes, and the foul. Wayne Wade has opened up strong here in the first quarter. Holland's seven-footer in his fifth year out of UCLA. Here's Holland stripped by James. He's got to take his time when he gets down there. Obviously, just checking right in, but you got a smaller LeBron James. Lower your shoulder. Anderson way off, rebounded by Bosch. We can all understand the bullying, the chants, the heckling, the T-shirts, the sides, although the Cavaliers will not allow for family as James draws the foul on the T-shirts and the sides, but we hope there is a sense of responsibility. Uh, there, there is extensive security here, but you don't want to see some wacko run out of the court or items being thrown. Incidentally, beverages are being served only in paper cups as a precaution. I, know, I, I tried to buy my beer earlier and they, they made me uh, <laughs> pour it into the cup. I was furious. Moving on the foul as uh, LeBron James hears it as he's stationary so the fans can direct it yeah. at James when he's at the foul line. Uh, there's no way that you could possibly prepare for something like this. And knowing that all eyes have been on you since you made that decision, and now you, as you said, in that stationary position, with time now off the clock, at the free throw line, everyone is looking at you. You know, you're wondering what's going through this 26-year-old mind. I wouldn't wish this on anybody. No. I mean, I, I know he made some mistakes with the way he handled things, but I feel sorry for him. Will Williams with the miss, Jones with the rebound. I, I really feel for him because I, I think what he did this summer was not malicious. I think he was probably probably didn't really know what he was stirring up by making that move. James with a beautiful move. Wow. <laughs> LeBron with the reverse. Let's not forget the talent now. And the ball back to Miami. Lost his headband in the process. That was the moment where all these fans kind of went, oh yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what he used to do. That's what we're missing. Man. Mario Chalmers. Now at the point, Joel Anthony has checked in for Miami. Here is James drilling it. LeBron James. Eight points for LeBron. He's hit three of five from the field. He's two for two at the line. Support of the Cavaliers tonight. Members of the current Cleveland Browns and Cleveland Indians have uh, shown up in mass. James Jones following the timeout able to knock down a three, and it's a 24-17 lead for Miami. Daniel Gibson guarding LeBron James, and LeBron makes it 14 straight points. Eight have been scored by James. And met by Jones. Gibson around Jones. Rod Howard with the rebound. 
Miami has taken command. Here comes James, sets it up for Howard. Jawan Howard knocks it down. Jawan Howard, who had a season-high 12 points last night against Detroit. James Jones with another three. A lot of times Miami players are playing on opposite sides of the court. Put them together. There's James for three. LeBron James shooting well. Now has 13 points on five of nine for the three. Point lead for Miami. They come in at 11 and 8. They won their last two after losing four of their previous five. The wins over Washington and Detroit. Bosch from deep. Chris Bosch. 61-42. Miami, the Heat outscoring the Cavs 28-17 in that second quarter and out rebounded them 18-9. Here's James off the fake. Really nice execution offensively from Miami. We're seeing better movement from them tonight in the half court. Not a good ball movement. Turner, the turnover there from Williams. LeBron to the bucket. 18 points for James and Byron Scott calls for time. So much for the talk that he had with his club at halftime. Wade on a hard drive. Pops it out to James. Shot clock to five. James for three. Now they say it's a two. He had a foot on the line, but LeBron with a seven field goal. He's seven, make it eight. Eight of 16. James steps back and hits again. That's a two again with the foot on the line. Well, now you have the, the crowd uh, chanting Scotty Pippen, and obviously the, the sidekick to Jerome Wade as Scotty Pippen was. Nothing wrong with that, right? right? <laughs> Top 50 times later. Later. I'll take that. Arroyo, and again Miami takes advantage of a Cleveland turnover. Pass behind Barraja. Here's James on the move. Pass Williams. It counts in the foul. That's when they're at their best, and that's what everyone, including Charles Barkley and, and Kenny Smith, has been clamoring for for the Miami Heat. You don't need to have the basketball in your hands 80% of the time, LeBron. Run the wings and try to get some easy ones. And he's exploded here in the third quarter. He's five for five from the field in the third. Overall now 25 points with seven assists. Bosch. Chris Bosch. Chris Bosch. Well, Steve, you mentioned this might be the best thing for Miami. A big win, possibly on the road. This game obviously isn't over yet, but it could be a foregone conclusion that they're going in. Three in a row. That's when teams get better as LeBron James is just on fire here in this third period. A three for LeBron. Gibson came up short. Miami on the run again. Here's Wade kicking it over to James. Yes, and the foul. Oh, man. Wow. No it's, headband. He's saying, I need my headband. <laughs> he just made two shots without it. I don't, I don't think he needs a headband at all. Look at the lob from Wade. And Jawad Williams makes a smart play. He sees the lob coming, but LeBron's so strong. And think of that foul and the Mo Williams foul a couple plays ago. He's so strong. He just goes right through the defense. You have to wrap him up. Fans here in Cleveland have certainly seen this type of outburst from James over the seven years he played here. He has scored 16 of his 30 in the third. He has hit on all seven of his field goal attempts. Well, there's a part of LeBron that obviously this is business, and his performance is showing that with 31 points, eight assists, and four rebounds. But there has to be a little part of him that understands coming home and doing this to his former team, where he grew up in Akron, 40 minutes away from here. There's a little part of him that it hurts. It hurts a little bit. It hurts hearing the chants. It hurts reading the signs, the shirts. It's got to. It's got, it's got, it has to. He's a human being, and, and you know we talked a little bit about it earlier. <laughs> There's a good sign. They asked for class, and they got it. Kind of. Kind of, yeah. Here's LeBron. Yes. 13 for 23 for LeBron. 34 points. Just in his groove. Here's James on the move. He gets the roll. It counts. And the foul. Another bucket for LeBron James in this third quarter. It's a 30-point lead for Miami. James. Oh, yes. my oh, goodness. Yeah, this, this is not fair now. 
He, he did say coming into this game, he knows all the spots on this floor, and he's going to every single one of them. Reach and foul. I mean, there's no, there's no way. I'm sorry, Mark. There's no way you can guard that. How do you guard something like that, Steve? I mean, you played with the greatest player of all time. I couldn't guard much of anything, but against something like this, I had zero chance. That was like the shot Rudy Gay hit against LeBron to win the game a couple weeks ago. But he, uh, the fadeaway with his leaping ability, no chance. So LeBron has taken his talents back to Cleveland. For LeBron James and the Heat facing this hostile crowd all night long. It's an easy win. Right, let's go to Craig with LeBron. Well, thanks, Marv. LeBron, how relieved are you that this night is over and the experience is behind you? Um, I mean, you know, we came in here with, a, with one goal, and that was to, to win a basketball game, and, um, you know, we did that. We, we played. This is the most complete game that we had all year, I think, from, from start to finish. After an emotional first half, you took the game over in the third quarter, 24 of your 38 points. What were you trying to find? Your favorite spots in this court, or how were you able to get those shots? Uh, well, I know this court. I know this court, and uh, I've made a lot of shots on this court. So I um, just wanted to be aggressive, just try to keep them out of the game. I knew they was going to try to make a run in the third quarter, but um, we was able to get stops and was able to get some shots. How do you learn from this experience, and how will it help you and your teammates as you move forward? Um, you know, we just got to continue to get better. You know, and we know every night we go out, it's going to be a hostile environment. Um, but we just got to continue to get better. And, um, you know, it's a good night. It's a good night for our team. The fans had their say tonight. What would you like to say to them if you could? Uh, seven great years. Um, loved every part. Um, loved every moment um, from the growth when I was an 18-year-old kid to a 25-year-old man. And, um, you know, tried our best. As a team, we tried our best to, to, to bring a championship to the city and just, you know, just try to play hard every night. So I got the utmost respect for this, for this franchise, utmost respect for these fans. And, um, you know, just continue the greatness for myself here in Miami and uh, try to get better every day. You can't go back with your decision, but uh, do you regret how it ended? Do you like to apologize for the way it ended? I don't want to apologize. Um, I think, um, you know, my intentions was um, not to hurt anyone. Um, you know, my intentions were solely on kids um, during the whole um, process. Um, and, you know, I always say, um, you know, decisions I make, um, I live with them. You know, there's always ways that you can correct them or ways that you can do them better. Um, but at the end of the day, um, I live with them. And, um, you know, I'm satisfied. I'm happy right now. All right, thanks a lot. Great right, job thanks. tonight. Let's go back to you, Mark.